witness. Starring J. Carol Nash in The Witness. And here is your host in Hollywood, Robert Young. In the normal course of most any day, every one of us is a witness to matters of life and death. The way we involve ourselves in these vital matters makes our own lives worthwhile or meaningless. In our nation today, a large number of people with different ethnic backgrounds are attempting to blend their culture with ours. And the blend needs to have a balance. So much of the old, so much of the new. Without balance, the new life becomes complex and frustrating. Ah, some more wine set up him, huh? Sure, Fagor. It's good. <laughs> Real great wine. All the way from Rhodes. And plenty for the party, too. Very good, Spurdy. That's right. You hear Frederick in there? She's working to make all the things we had at our betrothal party in Kalamak. Uh, <laughs> gonna be a real Greek party, Seraphim. How about your other boy, Constantine? Oh, how's he doing at the college? Constantine? Uh, bright boy, I understand. <laughs> He's gonna be a doctor, make money, do big things in the world. And uh, Gregor now, well, he's a good son, too. He's uh, going, he likes driving a truck. But Stan is different. He's going to go places. Aha, uh -huh. that's his car now. Ah, Constantine. All right. Seraphine, this is my son, Constantine. He likes to be called Stan, American, you know. Uh, you met him uh, way back four or five years, eh? Sure, I remember. Great and Stan. You remember me, Seraphine Papalos? I guess I remember. Good to see you. Hi, Mother. Hi, Constantine. Hey, your mama, she's busy with all the party things. I'll go up and wash. You're bringing your girl, Millie, to my party, Stan? Sure. But... Gregor, you know, up at the college, they, they just don't understand all this. Why, they think a patrol party is kind of silly with the parents all there and the costumes and Greek music. Uh, maybe you think it's silly. Maybe that's what you learn at college, huh? Oh, that's crazy, Gregor. Naturally, I've been away from home more than you, but... Well, all I asked was, is your girl coming to my party? Well, all I said was the things we think are natural seem to other people like buying and selling our girls. Oh, Gregor! You don't say those things about my obra, see? What's going on up there? When will you go get my things from the store? I'll go, Mother. In, in just a minute. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Gregory. Well, then why are you laughing? Well, it, it just seems funny, that's all. I mean, back at college an hour ago, I was in a fight just like this. You know why? No. Because I was Greek. One of the guys said something about us, and, and I got mad. It was about your party, too. And then I came back home, and, and I say something, and you get mad. Uh, yeah, I know, Stan. It happens to me sometimes with the boys on the trucks. Well, let's not get mad over it anymore. Hey, we'll have my party father's way. Damn mothers. You hear her clattering away in the kitchen? Uh, hey, she wants one of us to go down to uh, the Athenian market. <laughs> Give me the list, will you? I'll get the things from the market. Oh, yeah, I, I got it here. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me see you got it right, huh? The filo for the baklava, eh? Uh, tell it for 50 people. I will, mother. And the walnuts, the honey. He keeps the hymetic honey. And the sweet butter, eh? And just make sure the wine uh, I ordered can come, huh? Oh, I forgot. Two cans of halva. <laughs> We're not going to go hungry or thirsty. Hungry or thirsty, huh? Now, this is Gregor's betrothal party. Millie, wait a minute, will you? Dan. I, I, I want you to come to the party we're having Saturday. You know, for my brother Gregor's betrothal. Yes. Only all the people there, well, they'll be Greek, and, and the food and the dancing, they'll be different from what you're used to. Now, let's get something straight, Stan. Are you asking me to come to the party? If so, the answer's yes. Nice. 
Serafim. Hello, it's good to see you. Uh, Frederica, it's Serafim. <laughs> Old rascal. Welcome, Serafim. Take no notice of Fedor. He's been trying out all the wines before the party even started. Ah, uh, where say you? You tried it, eh? Serafim is good. Uh, I don't need to be told to try, Fedor. You won't find me slow to drink the bride's health. <laughs> you know, a little bit, but I like it. It's going to be a wonderful house. Dan and his girl haven't shown up yet. She's from the college? Yes. Stan thinks she'll find us all strange, like something from the zoo. <laughs> be kind to her. Oh, of course, Gregor. But it is Stan who needs to be treated gently. She will probably love him. Barbara, uh, there they are. Oh, she is pretty, Gregor. I like her. Ah, ah, wait, there. Uh, here comes my son, Constantine. Now the party is complete. Father, I brought Millie with me. Millie, this is my father and my mother. It is good to have you here at our party, Millie. <laughs> Constantine, tell us many, many good things about you, Millie. You are welcome. Thanks, Mr. Confessor. Kalamir. <laughs> you hear that, eh? <laughs> Everybody, you hear that? Eh, Millie, she learns how we say our greeting, Calamere. Constantine, take Millie and see that she has things to eat and drink, eh? And then soon we begin the dance. Oh, they're real nice, Dan. I like them. Hi, Alvaro. This is Millie. Hello. How do you do? And Millie, this is my big brother, Gregor. It's nice to know you, Gregor. Hey. And congratulations to you both. Millie, I am glad Stan brought you. Thank you. All right, now, everybody, stop the music a moment, eh? Mm. Now let us begin the dancing. Zenos, play the first dance. And Gregor, you and Avra lead off, eh? No, 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 Father, you can't do that. Don't you remember you always said at your betrothal, our grandfather and grandmother led off the dance? You can't change that. All right, all right. Uh, Federica, come on, come here. We show them we can still dance, eh? Play, Zeno. <laughs> Uh, wait, wait. Now, before we dance again, everybody get a drink. <laughs> I, I, I can't make a speech, but uh, I'm going to try. <laughs> I just want to say I am very happy to welcome all our friends and to drink with them the health of our son Gregor and his lovely Avra. Avra Gregor. God bless you. All right, and now back to the dancing. Zenos play us something to make us move, eh? I know you think I grow slow because I'm old, but wait, watch. Stand. Come on. Come on, dance. Leave me out, Father. Leave you out? <laughs> Gregor's a bit brother. Come on. Come on, dance. I said leave me out. I brought Millie here, and, and she doesn't dance like this, so leave me out. Stand. Please dance. No. I'm very sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm very sorry, my friends. Uh, uh, this uh, won't take too long. Constantine, uh, out you go. Open the door, Gregor. Open the door, I say. Uh, yes, Father. I'm sorry, my friends. And now we dance again, eh? All right, the music is in us. Hello. Now, what do you want, Seraphim? I want to talk to a foolish old man. All right, what do you want to say? Please, hey. Seraphim, let me speak to Papa Fedor. Father, what do you want to say? Oh, Papa Fedor, please go out and bring Constantine back. Bring him back? Avra, I just to throw him out. Papa Fedor, you are very proud of Constantine, are you not? He's smart and he's a good son. But things are hard for him sometimes. Hard, hard? What do you mean, hard? Because he is smart and because he cares about you and Mother and Gregor and the Greeks. But his world outside is very different. And it is not easy to grow up in two worlds. Not 
right, right, Father. Avar is right. Now go bring him back. Maybe we see his father is a stubborn, empty headed old fool. I am not stubborn, nor empty headed, nor old and I Well, all right. You always were wise man, Seraphim. And I always was a blind one. Okay. I go. Thank you, Abba. Constantine! Constantine! Please come to you, Father. I, I just come to say I'm sorry. What have you to be sorry about, Father? What else could you have done? Well, tonight, tonight you were frightened. You love Millie, eh? I guess I do. And to bring her here was, well, was, uh, was uh, very difficult, eh? Yes. Come back, my son. It's better for her and, and it's better for you. Yes, Papa. I'll come back. What's the matter? Hey, Zenos, why you stop, eh? Come on, come on, go on with the dancing. Gregor? Avra? I'm sorry. I acted like a child. Oh, that is all right, Stan. Come on, let us dance. Gregor, you dance with Millie. <laughs> Zenos, we need some jazz music to dance. No, no, Avra. Zenos, you play Greek music. I'm sure we can be good Americans. And still be good Greeks. Yes, Papa? <laughs> yes. 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 Yes to my son. You have been listening to The Witness. And here again is your host, Robert Young. Constantine Kompas is typical of many of the young people in America who find it difficult to get their heritage in focus with the American way of life and still not lose the beauty of their own culture. How can parents of a different ethnic background help their children to blend the old life and the new life into one? What can they do to bridge the gap between the two worlds? I'd like to thank Jay Carroll Nash, Jim Matheson, Virginia Gregg, Nestor Paeva, Janet Waldo, and Richard Reinauer for sharing their talents with us, and thanks to each one of you for being with us. Transcribed in Hollywood, The Witness is produced by Marjorie Hunt Pearson, directed by Thomas Freeburn Smith, and written by Lawrence Waddy. This is Art Gilmore speaking for the Episcopal Church, which presents The Witness. We hope you'll join us again soon for the next Witness.